first off what we need to do is add the exonity tort repository so we need to go to system file manager double click add source http double colon forward slash forward slash xfinity dot exonity talk dot com click done what i like to do guys is put a dot at the beginning of the name and that way it shows up at the top of the list so i'm just going to name it dot iStream now we've done that we click the home button then we click system add-ons because this is a first time use guys it just gives you the pop-up install from zip like i said if you put a dot at the beginning guys it shows up at the top i'm currently using a window system exonity talk repository now this is enabled I'm just going to click home guys to show you I'm running on Windows 7 64 bit need to click system add-ons again get add-ons go into the exonity talk repository go into add-on repository and enable the iStream XBMC add-ons repository click the two dots at the top to go back then I want programs I recommend you install the Exonity maintenance guys because it's it's got a few tweaks it helps with fixes anything like that so install Exonity maintenance services we want the top two guys install them the extensions and the extra UK channels then we want video add-ons scroll down and we want to install iStream just while this is doing this guys uh, I just want to explain why I might sound a bit little bit different I'm bunged up with a cold guy so Please bear with me. Now later on guys, what we need to do is come out and the iStream XBMC add-ons repository. If you click it, there's nothing in it guys. What you need to do is come out of it. Uh, right click on your mouse if you're using a Windows PC or if you have a USB keyboard or an air mouse with a keyboard press the letter C to bring up the context menu or on your remote on some systems you have a, a menu button sometimes this brings up the context menu in XBMC I'm just going to do a fast refresh And as you can see it's all it's all showing now guys services you want iStream common iStream UK or United Kingdom video add-ons as you can see in the bottom corner guys XBMC is now updated iStream so press your home button in your bottom right to come back to the main menu go across to videos and in the drop down menu you want video add-ons click iStream then iStream again bring up a user agreement just click accept on the slide over pop up just click the X in the top corner or press the OK button on your remote now we need to go back out and back out again now go back into iStream and here are all your options uh, what we're going to do first off is go into settings for a lot of you that are having trouble with URLs click on your TV shows 
in settings. Now you want to go to Prime Layer, which is also known as One Channel. Change it to Custom. In the box below, in the Custom box, enter this URL. All URLs required will be in the description under the video guys, so you'll be able to copy and paste them. Click Project Free TV. Also again, change to Custom and in the Custom box below. Same again, HTTP, double call on forward slash forward slash Project Free TV dot unblock pw click ok and then ok again what we need to do guys because we've ended up because we've ended up with a few extra sources now added to iStream I'm just going to take it in and show you you will have to enable the project free TV in the, in the TV sources so if we go to sources these are the ones that I like to keep it running smooth. Click Sanity. G2G because it has nice HD sources. HD TV shows, which is a new source. Ice Films, Ice Stream. Prime Wire. And like I said, guys, you need to enable the Project Free TV to get extra TV sources. I turn all these off it just helps return results a lot faster indexer I make sure is set to in internet movie database also if you go back and go into movies you can also do the same again guys you don't have to enter the prime wire in this one because the movies and TV show use the exact same setting so it's all ready. Once you've done the TV one, it automatically does it for the movies. Go into general. Indexer. Like I said, I like to keep it an internet movie database. Sources. This is just my preference, guys. It's up to you what you enable and what you disable. that's it for me guys that's it set and that is iStream all set up now what you might have to do on playlists is the directory automatically adds itself once you've installed setup and then done a restart of XBMC you must restart XBMC to get the Exonity Talk playlist directory you don't have to add an online source or anything like that I'll just show you now press the home button I will exit XBMC start up XBMC and that is it guys that's all you have to do if we go to add-ons iStream playlist as you can see it's automatically added it now uh, another extra little feature guys what you might be interested in is if you go into the Exonity playlist directory go into community or any other uh, let's say we'll go we'll go to my playlist if you bring up the context menu you can add the playlist just click add playlist it saves you going through all the directories to get to a playlist that you like so if you like it just bring up the context menu and here it will say add playlist 
Now if we go back, as you can see it hasn't added it as of yet, but if we exit out of the playlist and go back into the playlist, as you can see it's added it. So if you click on that now, that will take you directly to my playlist. Rather than having to go through all the directories to get to the playlist. It's a great additive, it, it's just it just cuts out a lot, of, a lot of aggro going through all the directories to get to a playlist that you like. If you like the playlist, you can always right click or press C on the keyboard or press your menu button on your remote to bring up the context menu and add the playlist to the main directory. Which is here. Uh, as you can see you can either rename it, you can remove it, you can add it as an iStream source, anything like that guys. But that's basically iStream now set up. If you just go into the TV shows, you can search. As you can see it was working and there you go guys as you can see prime wire is working ice films working project free TV is working and also the new HD TV shows source which has recently been added